Morning everyone and uh, welcome back to the channel. <coughs> Today we are, well we've got a fun little job to do really, I'm quite looking forward to it. It's the client of mine is having a bespoke um, TV wall unit thing built in. So it's going to have a TV in it and a fireplace underneath. Um, and at the moment they've got sockets low level but they want to bring some sockets up for the TV plus also bring all of the AV stuff that's existing there low level up to behind the TV as well so they can plug it straight into the back of the TV um, <clears throat> I'm actually quite looking forward to it, it should be a fun day um, and hopefully we can get some videos on um, looking at the AV stuff like um, how I test it, how I terminate and things like that so it might help some people out okay so Follow me and let's get into it. See you soon. So here we are inside the property and as you can see, the unit has now been built. And my job today will be to raise at least one of them sockets up here behind the new TV unit. And all of that AV stuff has got to come up the wall to here also so um yeah that'll be my next video probably showing you how i'm going to trace out the av stuff so i'll see you in a minute okay so this is my next job we're going to try to trace can you see that oh, not really this cable here don't know where it goes in the property um so we're going to try and trace it out so i'll have my trusty tester here which is the um bdv2 pro which if you're doing networking is the number one tool you've got to have really um so this goes into here Oop. and we turn it on so can you see that screen there you go that then tells me that the cable is roughly 12 meters long and that we've got eight cores connected this end effectively um but the great thing about this which really does help is it's got a tone generator in it so if i press the little music icon there you can see and i can flick through whatever tone i want it to be and then i've got this little kitty which is the amplifier and if i press this button and put it near the cable hopefully you can hear that and look There you go. So it tells me all the different tones. So now we're going to go and see whether we can find it at the other point that I think it's at. So, under here, this is where the main fibre for the building comes in. And then it's all, that's obviously the router for the property. And underneath that is a little faceplate that has got some connections in. So in order to test it, I press my button, and as you can hear, it's telling me that's where the cable comes to. So then what we need to do is once that's been moved up in the lounge onto a different position, we make a patch lead to go from this faceplate and plug it into the back of the router, and then have full internet into the back of the TV, hopefully. So next step is to start thinking about moving everything up the wall. Okay, I thought I'd better show you this. So as it's a, let me show you in there, it's a dot and dab wall. So this um, capping will run down the wall, but it doesn't come all the way to the box. And as you can hear, it's solid there. And the cables are solid. They won't want to move. So what I've got to do is basically chase this out so that then the cables will move up the wall. Um, I've got no other option. I was hoping they'd pull up the wall, but 
best laid plans and all that never work out how you want it to so yeah um you'll see me chasing that out in a second i thought i'd better let you know what i was doing so it keeps you up to date with what's going on and why i'm having to do it So as you can see, we've now finished this off. I've come off of here. Oh, unfortunately, I've had to hack the wall out a bit, but I had no choice because of the way that the uh, construction of the building had been made. So I always, if I can anyway, I'll always try to finish it with a brush plate. It just looks a little bit neat as the cables come out the wall. So this, this cable here is a BT cable. There we go. I'm not really bothered about that. That's not gonna get reused, but we won't need to make off that end. This one is the network cable. So my next job is to put a cable uh, network connection on that, RJ45. I personally use these, which are, is it gonna come into focus, there you go. These are pass-through connectors from cords, which I think are probably the best ones that you can buy on the market. I also use the cords connector. They're not cheap to buy, but like I say, they are, in my opinion, the best you can get. They're really, really easy to put the cable in there. A lot of the cheaper ones, you'll get a Cat6 cable and they're really, really difficult to put them into the connector. Whereas the cords, straight away, it will go through first time, every time, not an issue. Um, so yeah, that'll be my next job. Um, and I'll show you how I connect it up. Okay, so what I've done now with the cable is, let me get that closer. I've flattened, straightened them as much as I possibly can. There we go. And got them in order of what order they need to go in. So the order should be white and orange. Orange, white and green, blue, white and blue, green, white and brown, brown. And then we get the RJ45. Put it in and push it through. And what I really like about the push through connectors or pass through, whatever way you want to say it, is that when the cable goes through, you get it the place that you want it to be in. And then you can double check that all of the cables are in the right order before you crimp it. So as you can see, you can see the cables are in the right order. So then we just double check, make sure that they are. And then we get the crimper. As you can see on the back, there's a little, if I push that up, the crimp up, you can see that's what cuts the cables. And on there, there's a little RJ45 port. So that literally pushes in. As long as that goes through, typically, don't want to go in. go and I've just seen my own mistake didn't put the boot on <laughs> I would have sworn if I'd have crimped that up so pull that back off put the crimp on there you go so now the boots in place where it should be push it back through there we go to the position you want so then we check again we're back to square one we've got white and orange orange white and green blue white and blue green white and brown brown <clears throat> and then we go back to putting it through here if I can get it through the hole hopefully we can right okay so that's clipped in, as you can probably see, the the end of the RJ45 comes right to the end. So that when I push this up, it literally cuts it flush. So you have no bits sticking out anywhere. 
unclip it and there you go all in nice and neat put that in there goes in that way and there you go one finished connection simple as that so this is where we are at so far this is the connection under the stairs directly underneath the main intake for the fiber and the tv um, stuff and i have now made up my own patch lead and put it into the back of the router and now we can go back into the lounge and see if we've got the signal that we should be having on that cable so let's go and do that now so what i've done this end is i've plugged the cable into my tester and we turn it on and then it tells us what the signal is that we're getting and as you can see we're getting full signal all the way through which is a good sign for us so it means that they can easily use that to uh, the back of the tv and get exactly what they want out of the system and it is as simple as that next job i suppose will be to we're adding a socket up here so that'll be my next job from the sockets here um so there you go that's how you terminate a cat6 cable and let's get back on with the job at hand okay so this is how far we've got i have added a socket up here for the tv and i've added a power supply over here and that's for the fireplace that's got to go in the wall as yet so how have i done it what we've done if we've got one cable that one right so this one i'll move that and it moves that up there see and that goes along into the spur and then it comes from the spur back out along here and as you can see it goes up the wall so then that goes into this socket here and then that cable the other cable this one this one here goes up to there so what i've done or i'm going to do is i'm effectively extending the ring main because I don't like, I'll always try to just extend the ring rather than put one cable in and have two points, especially when there's a heater involved. Um, I will always try to extend the ring. So keep the continuity of the ring going. Uh, it's just the way I've always done it and it's, I'll continue to do it. I just think it's the best way of doing it. Oh, and any eagle eye people, I still need to put a grommet in there. I've just noticed that myself. Okay, so... Um, I'll set my camera up and you can see how I extend the ring uh, in the back of a back box. Hopefully it'll help someone. So, as you can see, these are my two new cables. These are the existing cables. So I've split them. So we've got, that's one cable, that's the other cable. So effectively legs is what we'd call them. One leg of the ring, the other leg of the ring. So in order to add these two new legs, we split them two up. So then we just put one set of cables in the back of the boxing connectors oh, in those oh, sorry. yeah and then those two go into the socket there um and it's as simple as that so i'll um show you that part next okay so i'm hoping you can see this all right i'm going to be using the infamous wagos to do the connections so all we do is we get one of the new cables, push it in, flip it down, and one of the existing cables, push it in, flip it down. Give it a little tug, make sure it's not gonna go anywhere. Chuck it in the back of the back box. Like so. And then we continue with the other cables. So we've got the earths. There and there. There you go. <clears throat> and then the lives. Right. No. See? And now they're connected together. That leaves us with the two ends of the ring. Again. There you go. And that's how you extend the ring main. Simple as that. And there you go, all connected in, all that's left now, screw this back, switch on and see how it's all working, hopefully, perfectly.
sure that everyone would agree this is a fantastic finished product. I just wanted to say thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.